The days of Slichas are nearly upon us. Are they days of fear, trepidation, maybe despair? Days of joy, hope, inspiration? Or just another nuisance we have to undertake so that maybe we'll affect some tshuva as we approach Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? If we take a cursory glimpse of the Slichas that we say, it doesn't look too good, it's pretty bleak. We start off, L'cha Hashem, you're all righteousness and we're shamefaced. We have nothing to show for what we've done. We talk about the toevos that we've done. We talk about there's no tzedek, there's no righteousness, no one speaks with righteousness. We're no more worthy than a thorn bush, a chedek. And we talk about kilkalnu yesharim, we've corrupted all that is good. And then suddenly we turn to the last pisman, the one we say responsibly. And we say, b'matzai menucha, ki damnucha tchilo, matzai shavis. Ki damnucha, we've beat you. <clears throat> we've come here first. We've got here before, even in a sense, kaviyachal, you did. And we turned Hashem hat osnucha, turn your ear to us from maroim tehila, from the high place that you are, that is all praise. And ha- and and listen, lishma el arina velatvila. It almost sounds childish. We come to Hashem like a little child, and we say, ki damnucha tchilo, we're here first. How did we transition? We're so bad. We're so unworthy. We've done so. We, we have nothing to show for ourselves, and yet suddenly we come. Here we are, and we're ready to go. Years ago, over 20 years ago, when I merited to live in the holy city of Yerushalayim, and during a particular period of time, I used to come home in the middle of the day, grab a quick, quick bite of lunch, and then go to Mincha. And I would take my young child, who was about my youngest son, who was merely three or four years old. And it was a joyous time where we'd go together hand in hand and we'd ride down to the shul, Boston, and we'd dive in. One day I came home, I was a bit of a rush. My son had misbehaved and I decided he doesn't deserve it. Uh, I'm not gonna take him this time. So I ran in, I ran out, and I left without him. I come down to shul. Now, if you know Harnof, I lived in Harnof, <coughs> and Harnof was built on a mountain. To get from a high point to a low point, the easiest way is to go down the many steps that dot the mountain between the houses, that at least on the descent, is very quick. But if you take a car, you have to go through a circuitous route, through the different streets until you get... I lived on Agassi, which was one of the highest streets, and the shul, the Boston shul, was on Regine, Rehov Regine, on the lower street. I finally went my way down to shul, and as I'm going to shul, I see my little boy running towards me, with those beautiful, cheerful, happy eyes. And he says, Abba, I came to Mincha. And suddenly all my upset had dissipated. And the thought of how did he get here? He had to cross several streets by himself. One of them being a major thoroughfare, Rechol Sholzen with buses hurtling down each direction. And somehow he made it here. But all that was forgotten when I saw my little boy, my little son, looking so lovingly into my eyes, and he says, Abba, I'm here for Mincha. I grabbed his hand, and we went in, and I held on to it tight as we went to Dav Mincha. That's how we find ourselves on the night of Slichas. We've misbehaved, we've acted childish, we've done reckless and dangerous things. But on the night we come, this night we come, and we say, Tashem, but my tzayim menucha, like a little child, ki damnucha tchila, here we are, we're eager and ready. We just want you to hold our hand. We want to be in your company. Tata, Daddy, Abba, hold our hand and let's say slichas together. That's how we start off slichas. Hashem is our Abba. He is our Tata. He is our Daddy. We have to turn to him and say, Abba, we're here to say slichas.